Hello everyone and welcome to All Two's Inside Line. We are live from the Blue Room here outside the home of England Rugby. We are live from Twickenham and boy have we got four players for you this evening. Pulse the Samoa game where we give them an absolute thrashing. Shall we take a look at the green room and see who we've got? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the green room. Let's see which players are going to come and say hello. There you go. Look. Dan Cole, Chris Robshaw, <laughs> Mike Brown, and the one and only Dylan Hartley. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome them to All Two's Inside Line Live. <laughs> some great fun this afternoon ladies and gentlemen but as a collective let's give them a big round of applause an amazing series Chris Dan Mike and Dylan first of all Dylan how you feel you look like you got a few scratches there yeah still we haven't had a shower yet uh, oh really no, I've been... I was rushing to get here I was just going to say that's because you're so keen and eager to come and say hello to all the O2 priority customers right here in the Blue Room. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, Mike, from your perspective, how was the game? Yeah, hang on, I'll just get that. It's just nestled in your grey hair there. Um, like a strong oak, Michael. Maturity, it's a sign of maturity, apparently. All right, go on, crack on. How was the game? Yeah, it was uh, frustrating at times. Um, we weren't good enough at the breakdown, which, you know, stifled our attack a bit. But in the end, we, we managed to score a few tries and did all right. So we got now, The past couple of games, we've really pushed on in the last 20, 15 minutes. Uh, is that something that you guys are really pleased about, Chris? Because uh, the gaffer, Eddie, has really pushed you on your fitness, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Look, we always train at a higher intensity than what we play at, so that when we do get to the last 10, 15 minutes, we can pull away. So, look, very pleasing. Won three games out of three. I think one of the biggest things is we only conceded three tries in three games, which was a massive work for us coming into the campaign. Um, so, yeah, we're moving in the right direction, which is good. Dan, you all right? I'm OK, thanks. Is that a smile? He's finally there, he goes! <laughs> yes. yes, there we go. Lovely Dan Cole, everyone. Uh, Dan, from your perspective, it's always a tough game at the front. You've got the old Shiner coming through, but you must be pleased that we've gone through this series undefeated, bit of confidence into the next tournament, the Six Nations. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we set out with the goal of being better today than we were four weeks when we first met up, and we've, I think we've achieved that. Um, you know, we've had three tough games, but we're a better squad and a better team for it. All right, what was it like on the field today, Dylan, in front of that crowd with a strong Samoan pack? Um, I wasn't there for 60 odd minutes. Didn't want to mention obviously. that, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think the, the crowd, when the Mexican wave gets going, I think that the rugby's probably <laughs> fallen on the back burner. Um, and then that's down to our, our lack of uh, intensity at the breakdown. I think Mike Brown just uh, alluded to that. I think, you know, to build pressure, you need to be able to keep the ball and we didn't keep the ball. I think we turned the ball over 20 odd times today um, and that you can't build pressure when you turn the ball over. So um, things to learn and work on from that will be definitely at, at the breakdown. But you personally, uh, let's say you're representing the squad, all right? Are you confident about the Six Nations going into that, the way the team is at the moment? Yeah. And there you go, you don't need to answer it. Thank no. you very much. All right, we've had loads of questions come in uh, from O2 Inside Line fans, thank you very much, and O2 customers. So we're going to crack on. Are you ready? Uh, oh, yes, yeah. All right, post game, the party tonight in the hotel. Who's going to be the best and worst dancer? Mike. Best dancer. It, it's, it's, uh, dance, dance, dance. <laughs> show us, show us, Dan. 
I've got, I've got this move that involves leaning on the bar all night. So. <laughs> I've witnessed that move and it's very, very successful. Uh, Chris, are you one to take to the dance floor with your new blonde Definitely hair? Definitely not, no. I'm terrible no? dancer. Chris, Chris Robshaw denies that he dyes his hair blonde. <laughs> there are children here. There are oh, children here. Be he's lying. Yourself. He's lying. But I you don't, do I don't as, dye my hair. I you don't look dye. as handsome as ever, Chris. I've so got to say so. that. You really do. All right, Lizzie in London says, if, this is a weird question, so you've got to think outside the box. If the ball wasn't a ball... What would it be? I have no idea what it means, but it could be a watermelon, a pineapple. Dylan, you look uh, deep in thought there. Lizzie, thank you very much for your question. I, I think Dylan's reaction is exactly what we're all thinking. Let's move on to the next question and lay off your free time at home. Sam in Coventry says, are we going to win the World Cup? We are certainly preparing to do so. Thank you very much. Mike, are you excited about that? There's a long way to go till then, so, you know. Ooh. Dan? I'm over the moon. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, very excited. We hope we're all there, but very excited, yeah. All right, good stuff. Next question. Uh, could we possibly say or sing happy birthday to Howard uh, from Wakefield, who's 75 today, ladies and gentlemen? Where is he? Where is he? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, is, is that Howard, Howard there at the back? No. no. Uh, is that Howard? Is that actually Howard? Oh, Howard, come forward. Get Howard, him up come here. down here quick. Howard, make your way down to the front. Come on, Get Howard. Howard. Alright, he's coming. Is he coming? He's not coming. Howard, no, Happy birthday to you. Here he is. Come on, Howard. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Howard. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Howard! All right, here he is, Howard. The oh, he's man milking the it now. He's milking it. He's had a song. There he is. All right, come, come on, Vernon. We've got a show to run. Now, Howard, we are live on Facebook, and I know you're not accustomed to the old. Oh. <laughs> Howard, let me ask you this question Have you had a birthday drink? Absolutely not. All right, good man. <laughs> Uh, Howard, may I introduce you to Chris, Dan, <laughs> there you go. Right. Don't go any further removing your clothes. There's Mike and there's Dylan. Uh, that's Howard, everyone, he's a bit drunk. <laughs> he's absolutely rat-legged. Uh, Good evening, Mike. No, friend. don't give him a microphone for crying out loud, Mike Brown. What are you thinking? I love you for a No. It is. We are live. We're live on Facebook. Ah. All right, there you go. Howard. Captain. Speech. 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 No, he's not doing a speech. Okay. Trust me. There you go. Well done, Howard. Well done, Howard. That's why, that's why Facebook Live was invented. <laughs> it really is. All right, Frankie in Whitney says, uh, run the length of the pitch to score or make a try-saving tackle? Dylan, good question. Uh, the first one's never going to happen, so try-saving tackle all day. Mike? Length of the field. Selfish. Dan? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be too knackered after 100 metres, so I'd say <laughs> try-saving tackle. Chris? I would love to try and make a length of the pitch try, but it's never going to happen. Selfless, selfless. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what a team is all about, right there. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, George in Bath says, who's the worst dancer? In the team? No, we've had who's going to dance tonight. Who's the worst dancer in the team? It's not. 
Howard. 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 Howard's getting the drinks in. Uh, fellas, listen, uh, it's short, it's brief. Thank you very much for taking time coming seeing us. Really appreciate it. Uh, good luck with the off-season. Well, we're in the middle of a season, but you know what I mean. Yeah, game next week. Well, good luck with uh, getting ready for the uh, Six Nations. Really appreciate it. Give them a big round of applause, everyone. Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dan. Thank you very much. Mike and Dylan. Thank you very much for watching on Old Two's Inside Line. Remember, you can catch the second half of the ladies' game, which is taking place right now across the road. So make sure you tune in and give them your support. Thank you very much for watching this Mutual Wealth Series. Really appreciate it. Have a great evening. Have a good weekend.